Okay, so this is just meant to be a quick video to explain how uh, open pose, like how I did, how I did the whole thing with it. Um, so I had some questions from that, and also like in a month from now I'll probably figure out what I did. So uh, anyway, so this is the code that I believe you get uh, originally whenever you download the open pose stuff. It is kind of hard to to look at initially, but it, I mean it's organized pretty well, so you can tell. Okay, well this is a dictionary of body parts. Each body part corresponds to a number from uh, 0 to you know 18 here and so what you can do uh, whoops, I mean here's just the code uh, for all that so part from is pair 0 um, here so for pair and pose pairs so pose pairs is this list of lists so you'll have a bunch of, of um, pairs in here right and so basically you're um, expanding each of these pairs that you have because whenever you loop through this pose pair you're just gonna get you know, list one, list two, list three, or rather list zero, I guess, list one, list two. Uh, and then for each pair within that pair, you have, um, you know, neck or shoulder or what have you. So that's what it's, this is doing here. So for pairs and pose pairs, uh, let's say you have pair one, it's just going to be neck and shoulder, right? So that's just your list. And then what you're doing is you're um, getting the items from that list. So part from is pair zero. So if you had the first one, right, if you're iterating, you're on the, well, I guess I equals zero. So if you're on the zeroth, one um, part from would be neck, right? Because it's the it's the the zeroth entry in this list, and then part two would be your right shoulder. Okay, and then uh, basically this is an assertion to make sure that it's in the body parts. If not, it's going to have like an error or something. And then ID from and ID two are basically using uh, the the part from and the part two are going to be like the names, right? So you'd have neck, but you can't really do anything with neck on its own. So you you uh, go from you know, the, the string neck to the ID of neck. So what is the ID of neck? So body parts, neck. So you go to body parts, here's neck, and it's at one. All right, and then similarly, you can do from like part two, let's say part two is right shoulder. So the ID for part uh, for the right shoulder would be two, right? It would just be two. All right, and then now you do points. Um, so so now, let me, let me loop back here, right? So there's a, there's a list called points. And so this points list, basically is appending um, the X and the Y of, of each of the points that it finds. Okay, and then from that points list, you can get the ID using your body part, so like neck, right? Neck was one, so if you you know find the ID of one in that points list, um, you, can, you can draw a line from the, the from to the two, so it'd be from points one to points, uh, I, I guess shoulder was, um, was two. So this seems kind of confusing. Uh, I I played around with this for a while, and then I made my own little pose estimator using object-oriented programming or whatever classes. So here's uh, the pose estimator. It's basically the same thing. I mean, this is I've made the class. It's, nothing is crazy in here. Uh, this I really don't think I need. Or actually, no, you do need this in width and height. I think it's in the, the code in here. But the key thing is if you want to know how to get the points, um, so you have this list of points, See, I think I even wrote down something here. So for instance, right, pair one is, is neck and shoulder. I guess this is technically pair zero. I should probably do that because everything starts with zeros in computer science. But that pair is your neck and your shoulder. So part from would be neck, part two would be our shoulder, right? And then now uh, body part ID from would return one, like we said, and then ID two would return two because you're just going through that, that dictionary and you're finding uh, what is you know what is next entry for the dictionary? It's one, so that's what it is. All right, so now if points, uh, I I'm not sure if they have this in the actual code. I, what I did was um, basically if the points are found in there, then I do all this other stuff. So now to find like your right shoulder, right? You do if the part from is the string right shoulder, because that's the thing that's in the list, right? If that part from is the string right shoulder. Um, then I stored the right shoulder position as points ID from because part from right part from is a string that's your that's your string that's your your list of lists in here part two or ID two rather or from or yeah because I guess we're doing part from so ID from would be the dictionary entry of that string from the list so you know if we have right ear then what's a dictionary entry so right ears dictionary entry would be um, somewhere in here. 16. Alright, so now we have that number and the points are kind of indexed by those numbers. 
So now you have your ID from. So all, all you need to do is make sure you know what the, the string name of the part from is and then know what the associated ID of that part from is. And then you can get the position of it because that would be the points. All right, and th that's basically it. Um, so for that part, I, I just did a bunch of times. Uh, you can look at my other video for um, the theory behind it. I mean, it's not like a theory. It's just uh, you're using the law of cosines to get the angles. And so the idea is, let me just pull a paint here. Um, basically, a computer, like at first I was going to try to do for poses, try to do like relative distances. Um, so like maybe this point has this distance from your arm or something. But if I walk further back, right, the computer thinks that I'm shorter, if that makes sense. So this distance would be smaller, even though for me it's the same distance. So the only thing I could immediately think of, and maybe this isn't the best way, but it works for now, is angles seem to be retained, right? All these angles are retained regardless of, of you know, how big you get. Your angles are the same. So you know, if you get really big and you have the same angles, then you still have the same angles here. So that was the idea, and the only way I could think of to do it was to use the law of cosines. Again, just look at the GitHub. It's, it, this part's not too crazy. Um, I guess the most confusing thing is just to figure out how to actually index this stuff. All right, so that's the pose compare. So what this does is, um, basically, if it finds all the necessary points to get uh, all the angles, then it's going to return the, the frame and your key angles. All right. So the key angles is... Uh, so let me just go to key angles here real quick. I think I put it, I, I can search for it. Like I said, I'm not really editing this video too much. Uh, key angles, yeah. So right now, I only I only am, am checking your right arm angles and your left arm angles. So there's two angles for your right arm and your left arm that I'm checking. So there's a total of four angles that I'm checking here. Um, in the GitHub for my older project, I think I have a total of eight because I'm doing the legs too. But because I'm only checking the right and the left arm for the, the previous video, I only have the right and left arm. And so that's a dictionary of uh, lists. So you have your right arm entry, and then there's a list um, of the angles in there. And then uh, let me just see. You have the, the angles. You're appending the theta that you find. And, and that's pretty much it. You're returning those key angles from, from what you find. All right, so you, you're returning the frame and then the key angles for the left arm and the right arm. Okay. So now in, um, let's just go to the second, like the easiest one here. So here's frame operations. This is just to do some funny stuff with the frames. I'm not really gonna go through this. Um, just to put the, the filters over it. Now, there's definitely a better way of doing this. Um, I don't really know how to alpha channel or anything like that. I'm not really too interested in learning right now. Um, so I just kind of did what I could. But this is just kind of a basic, like, play around with frame operations. So you can just look that stuff up. Uh, get snapshot is a way of getting, I mean, snapshots for the angles. So if I were to, I mean, just run it right now, and maybe you could see. Um, hopefully that will, that will run here. Can't open for some reason. It's, oh, oh, I think I have that other. Uh, give me a second here. What you have to do. Just Python, select interpreter, make sure you're at the um, TensorFlow. You have to have a TensorFlow environment for this stuff to run. Uh, maybe it's just not going to run right now. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, the idea for this thing, if you can run it, I, I've obviously ran it before, I think I changed some settings recently, is that you basically run this, and if you press F, it's going to have a screenshot. It's going to capture a screenshot of you. And that screenshot will, will show the angles of your body. So, for instance, this will be like a screenshot that I'll capture. And um, you'll use this. Wow, it looks really white there. You'll use this to basically figure out what the poses are that you're using. So the way that I did this uh, was that there are two poses, or, or rather, that you're checking the human poses, and then you're checking whatever pose that you're referencing to, if that makes sense. So I have this folder called connect poses, and then I have these reference poses. So these reference poses are gotten from uh, doing that, that get snapshot thing. So here's just a bunch of random silly pictures in there. Um, and so these are all the human poses, because the open pose finds human angles way better than it finds any drawn ones, um, because it's just hard. <laughs> it's just hard to do it. So basically, you try to mimic the pose that you're trying to connect to, right? And so they have to have the same um, name. So, you know, he did it, he did it. 
make sure it's the same file type too because it's, it's checking that so make sure it's all either PNG or JPEG or whatever you choose so you basically create uh, similar <laughs> each of these times I'm looking because I it took forever to try to make the angles right um, if you if you play with a git snapshot you'll see what I mean but basically I guess in a way it's kind of cheap um, you're using the human version to check the non-human version but it's just easier it's just easier to do it like that all right and then um, compare pose you're basically uh, well first off you're getting all the files um, that you're trying to compare to so you're reading your reference images which are basically the poses of yourself doing this stuff so you're reading those um, and then what you're doing is you're going through and you're getting the key pose angles uh, which is from your pose estimator the class here um, and, and note that pose estimator this function works on both uh, like videos and images because it just works with frames so you're fine with, with, with both all right so then you have the compare pose uh, you're just going through each of those images you're getting the key poses and you're appending it to self.refs which is a list of lists in the format of copy copies the um, just the original image because for some reason I think I could probably fix this easily I just didn't feel like doing it when you load your image in and you get the key angles this will modify the original image to return something that looks like this right and I didn't want you to see the uh, angles whenever you're doing the video I mean you could change this to make it so that when you're actually comparing poses you can see the angles there too but I didn't want to so I just copied the original image before I put it into the uh, the pose estimator and we got the images um, angles and then after that again you're just appending this list of lists copies key angles full path the reason why you do full path um, is just so that I have the the name of the file in the end because that that name when you find um, later on it'll be helpful I, I, we'll, we'll see what I mean by that but anyway now you're comparing here's here's the function to compare the frames so you have a, a an, an initial frame that you're putting in so this is like the video frame that you're trying to compare the the self dot ref images to and then a threshold so your threshold um, would be the angles in this case so if you have a threshold of 20 and you know you're trying to compare to an angle of 70 then you're looking at anything within the range of you know 70 minus 20 and 70 plus 20 that sort of thing so that's the idea there is that now now we're doing the same thing we're getting found so the the actual frame key angles is equal to basically um, what this pose key angles thing is getting here's the frame data just put that in a list I mean I could have just made a list out of that immediately but whatever uh, and then I'm just enumerating through this self.refs making sure that the frame data the len of this has actually um, both left and right arm or, or rather has has actually found key angles um, and making sure that basically each of the th there's at least four angles in here uh, each you know two for each of the the arms and and that sort of thing all right and if there are then you return the reference and then you also return the initial frame and if there's not then you return none in frame and that's kind of the same thing here all right and then uh, let's go to um, video image estimator so this is kind of the big one so this pie game stuff you don't really need to know the pie game stuff it's whatever um, so I'm doing the same thing I'm linking all the poses uh, let's see what else I can explain here so now I'm um, this is just to get a video comparison so I'm just I mean this is just basic open CV stuff you just uh, are reading your, your webcam um, here's an eye the eye is for what I tried to do is something like I guess I think it's called in like Java a, a queue or something so the idea is let me let me go back to paint if let's say you have a list right and you're doing your your estimation you're trying to compare the poses and remember if, if you don't really find a correct one you're gonna get none for the comparison so as long as you find you know maybe, maybe there's a bunch of nuns in here but then there's like a yes you actually have a comparison you have all the angles everything works and then there's another nine because uh, the, the way that the angles are gotten is kind of jittery so like you, you won't always have the perfect four angles that I want um, I just made it so that as long as there's like a yes within the last five or um, in this case I think I set it to ten then it'll display the the, the found um, comparison there just to make it easier all right here's some more pose stuff or, or rather pie game stuff um, and I mean that's basically it uh, the biggest thing is just how the comparison are done hopefully that makes a little bit more sense um, let me see if I can run it I don't know I might have to try to fix it for some reason it's just not 
doing anything. Uh, huh. Oh, I know, I know why. Okay, so there is the same file or directory error. Uh, I need to. I, I basically it's not, it's thing, it's thinking that I'm not in the same current working directory as I am. So that's 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 an issue on my part. But anyway, hopefully that makes more sense.